What was the worst job interview you've had? My first interview ever was at DQ, and I accidentally knocked a 90 year old woman over. So after accidentally slaying your predecessor, how's life been as the new Dairy Queen? The Dairy Claws. 5 interview rounds with the last interview round being with the CEO all for an entry level customer service job. During the last interview, the CEO said you weren't allowed to get sick, and you weren't allowed to leave at the end of the day until all of the work had been done. So even though the job was 8 to 4 the CEO said customer service reps often stayed until 6pm or later. She also asked if I would be comfortable secretly reporting to her about what the customer service team is up to. I declined the job offer and the company harassed me with emails asking why and what they did wrong. Really glad I didn't take the job. 5 interviews for entry level. That's insane. Also, I bet the hours between 4 and 6 were unpaid. When I was a teenager I had 3 interviews for Wenders. It wasn't even for working there. It was for a free LAN sound system installation. An agency sent me for an interview and said the starting salary is £33,000. The interview went fairly well until the interviewer said, so what sort of salary are you looking for? So using the info I had from the agency I said, well, I think £33,000 is a fair starting point. The interviewer practically threw me out. He started to shout about wasting his time because I expected to be paid a huge salary and who did I think I was. He was paying £20. 000. I had an ex-friend. Don't ask about the backstabber. He had a similar story. His buddy told him to apply for a place and to ask for $15 for a starting position. Cause that's what he did. He asked for that and they told him. You have no experience. We are not giving you that price. I don't understand how two people with no experience in the same job don't get the same amount. Or oh, come on. Tell us about the backstabber. Yeah I have one that sticks out. I applied to a government branch as a network admin. The newspaper had asked for a bachelor's degree. They called me into the interview. When I got there, the first thing the interviewer said was, we wanted someone with a master's degree. Why did you apply? Now, I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they had other interviews that day and got them mixed up. Shit happens. I just informed the interviewer that the ad I applied for requested a bachelor's degree and confirmed the position I was interviewing for. No, we definitely wanted someone with a master's degree. So, again, why did you apply if you wanted someone with a master's degree? Why did you bother calling me in for an interview? You're very rude and unprofessional. Yeah, you fucked up at every junction thus far, but I'm the one who's rude and unprofessional. I always have the job posting slash description printed, with notes on it. Had similar comments a couple times and it's nice to have it right there. Once had an interviewer say I don't know where you got this. Ah, uh, you posted it. I copy slash pasted. I once applied for a position and got asked to an interview. Even got the job. The resume they received was completely blank due to some fuck up on the job site I used at the time. It just has my name slash number at the top was pretty weird when they asked me basic questions. That's the penultimate power move. CV. Name. Surname. Resume. All in lowercase. Times New Roman. Size 11. Had a phone interview and the woman kept asking more and more intrusive questions. Kept hinting I'm a total piece of shit who's totally unfit for the job. It was the easiest job description ever and jumping to conclusions about my life that were completely untrue. For example I found out that being a freelancer who gets a lot of decently paid work each month is apparently living off my parents. She kept going on and on like that for quite a while before I told her to piss off and hung up. Didn't really need that job too badly but it was in a different country so the travel aspect was the main reason. Years later I found out it was a stress interview which apparently is a thing. Fuck those people. Companies that do that are not worth working for. Edit. Such a simple comment. But never had that many upvotes. Thanks everyone. It sounds like negging, but in a professional context. Anyone who falls over themselves to put up with shit treatment is far more likely to accept worse working conditions for longer. I think recruiters seem to forget that an interview goes for both sides. I'm not only being interviewed for that position. 
You're also interviewed as an employer. If you suck, I'll go elsewhere. I don't think it occurs to them that experienced people will not put up with that, and as a result they will get green employees with no self-esteem and no work experience. Sure, you can pay them less, but your output and turnover will be shit. Especially as your employees realize they don't have to take your crap. It's short-term thinking that is detrimental to the company over time. An interviewer told me that he worried I would be sexually harassed if I joined his team. Red flag. At least he was honest and you dodged a bullet. This is true. It's just wild because he basically admitted that sexual harassment was a huge problem in that company and that management made no attempt to control it. And further, that the only mechanism of control was to not hire women perceived as attractive. What a world. Yeah I was told by a company they don't hire women anymore because one accused a coworker of sexual harassment. Unbelievable I know. Lmeo that comment is a lawsuit in word form. When he said I'll give you extra hours if you bring me smokes every day. Then put his hand on my leg and said his wife gives him passes to have fun. I also got a speeding ticket on the way to the interview. Was not my month. Would not have been surprised if you got a speeding ticket on the way home. Just not possible to get away from that shit fast enough. I had an interview with the MC back in the day. I don't remember the specifics other than I was really nervous. I had a we are sorry to inform you. ML waiting for me before I finish the 10 minute trip home. I had an interview and they told me the hiring manager was going on vacation for 2 weeks after the interviews were done. So a decision wouldn't be made until then. I took a bus home and had a letter from them in the mailbox telling me I was being rejected. It was the afternoon. So they either mailed the letter before they even interviewed me. Or the hiring manager raced to my house after the interview to drop the letter off. I walked in the house and my mom asked how the interview went. I just handed her the letter. I'm sorry but can't stop laughing at the thought of the hiring manager desperately driving as fast as they can to make sure you get their ejection letter before they leave for vacation. Showed up looking good in my suit with a ton of knowledge on Capital Partners. It turned out I had researched the wrong company named Capital Partners. I did major research on a company and expected questions in the interview. The only one they asked was, what is a slogan? Of course. I hadn't memorized that. As I left I saw it was on the fucking giant sign outside. I don't get why companies ask you things like that. As if it would be relevant to whatever you do each day. There is a minimum amount of ass kissing required daily for some jobs. It's always about who you know and who you blow. The first question they asked was a statistics exam type question. Took me completely off guard. I half asked the answer. A complete answer would have taken half an hour. The next question was about a Punnett square analysis. I answered honestly and said that the first thing I would do would be to look it up. Errors in Punnett squares are incredibly common and I wouldn't trust anyone who said they could do it off the top of their head. I'd look it up even if I'd done one last week. They really didn't like that answer. They wanted to know where my husband worked and where we lived. And they concluded that our 6 month rental location was completely incompatible with the commute to their location. The whole thing was just super weird. It was like they sat down determined to find a reason they should not hire me. I was relieved to get out of there. What was the job? Lab research. Why would you do punnet squares and stats? Yep. Research job. Job was for a vibration analysis engineer. I knew how to do the job well. I knew the pay should be around 95k. And they stated 55k in the interview. When I tried to discuss my point, they said, don't worry, there's plenty of overtime. They also mentioned, since they weren't involved with many balancings at the moment, I would assist the cleaning crew with a lot of the cleanings. I've never been so uninterested in a job in my life. Vibrations analysis, cleaning crew that's a complicated way to say sex toy tester. Did you mean back quote taster? You say tomato. I say gluck gluck gluck. At an interview to be a county street sweeper. Guy asks me if I have a girlfriend. Proceeds to rant for 5 minutes how young people don't get married anymore. Then he asks me what I want to avoid at the job. At the time I had no idea how to answer as I'd never been asked that in an interview before. 
so I ask him to clarify. To which he just repeats the question. Over and over until he gets super angry that I don't know how to answer that. Then asks me to leave. To this day. Biggest WTF interview I've had. Maybe the correct answer would be. Cars and trees. Apostrophe. Sharks. As the interviewer, Candidate responded to a question I asked with. Is that really how you want to spend our time together? By asking me that question, when I wrote up my notes I included that bit. It obviously came up in the debrief and a huge red flag. Other interviewers also had similar, though not as serious, feedback on the candidate. He was not hired. As the interviewee, interviewer immediately launched into, with a rough accusatory tone, you're a job hopper. Why are you a job hopper, when I was being recruited for a role a few years ago? I'd been working, successfully, as an independent consultant for 7 or 8 years which she equated with job hopping. I ended that interview pretty quickly with a, I don't think this is going to be a good fit and gave the recruiter some pointed feedback, he seemed to acknowledge, that she was difficult. Is that really how you want to spend our time together? By asking me that question, what was the question? I gotta know who was being a ass here. Okay. Here's a shot out of the cannon. Opera. Barbara Walters. Your wife. You gotta fuck one. Marry one. Kill one. Go. I interviewed for what was my dream job. Something that I have a ton of experience in and two degrees, including one from literally the most prestigious school in my field. They like me so much on my first few rounds of interviews that they ask me to fly across the country for the final one. So I go through easily the worst travel day of my life. Arrive for my interview. And the interviewer takes one look at my resume and says I don't know why you came all the way out here. You aren't qualified for this. Suffice to say I will never work there. Similar story from a former colleague. He was interviewing for a position with a local company that had a branch location in another city. He passed his tech screen. So they went for the in-person part, which involved flying him out and staying the night. When he arrived at the office for the interview, a receptionist led him into a conference room and dialed into a bridge on a speakerphone. After 5 minutes of waiting for his interviewer to join, the receptionist had to call the guy on his cell to remind him of the appointment. He finally joined, and basically phoned it in, pun intended, as if he had no interest in filling the position, much less getting to know the candidate. The call lasted maybe 15 minutes. Needless to say, he didn't get the job. He later found out that the interviewer was actually back in our home city, so he flew 3 plus hours each way and stayed overnight for absolutely nothing. Not a company you want to work for. I was interviewing for a job in Houston, and lived in Austin, about 2, 5 hours away. I drove to Houston for the first round of interviews, and they said it went well, and wanted to being me in for a final interview. So I drove there again. It seemed like it went well, and they told me they had one more interview to conduct, and would have a decision tomorrow. So the next day came and went. I am allowed the manager to ask if any decision had been made. Nothing. Waited a couple more days. Left a voice email. Nothing. Then a couple days later. I just called the main number for the company and told the receptionist why I was calling. She was like well. Someone just started in that job yesterday. They ghosted me after I drove a total of 10 hours to interview twice. Still salty about that 11 years later. Background. My face tends to get really red when I'm stressed slash embarrassed. In a previous job, my company hired a consultant to help some of us improve our presentation skills. Consultant gave me some good advice. One of the weirder pieces of advice, however, was that if my face got red, I should flex my calf muscles underscore because the flexing would divert blood away from my face and to my legs. I had no idea if that was true or not, but it was weird enough that I remembered it. Job interview. About 10 years later, I'm giving a presentation at a job interview. I'm a scientist, and giving a research presentation as part of a job interview is pretty common. My research was pretty good, but it had one critical flaw that I wanted to avoid discussing during my presentation. Somehow, everyone in the room locked in on the floor and erected a barrage of critical questions at me. 
I could feel my face starting to get red and all I could do was furiously flex my fucking calf muscles. Which didn't do a damn thing. I didn't get the job. Lol. I have the same thing where I easily go very red. To the point where people have commented jeez you are so red right now. As if I wasn't already acutely aware.